On his race. Um, Chuck, I hate to interrupt your daydream, but someone's come to visit and he'd like to say hello. Huh? Hey, little brother. Rally! What are you doing here? Have you been winning your truck races? I've been practicing on our track. Have you been to some cool places? <laughs> Slow down, Chuck. I think you're faster than me. Going from race to race happened to bring me by here and I thought I'd say hi. I even brought my racing pal, Flash. What's up, Adorable? Huh? He says hi. Don't worry, I speak Flash. We figured that since we were going to stop here anyway, we might have a practice race on the paved track to keep ourselves in shape. A race? You? Here? Awesome! I've never seen you race before. <laughs> really? I can't wait for you to meet my friends, especially Biggs. He's your number two fan, after me. Okay, okay. Flash, you stay here and fuel up, all right? <laughs> I can't get over how big you're getting. I know, that's as I'm bigger than you were at my age. I'm gonna be a racer, just like you. Oh yeah? You think you got what it takes? I know I do. Andy? Boomer? Where did you fellers get to? Tag, you're it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, meet my brother Ralph. World famous monster truck racer? I don't know about world famous, but. Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name's Biggs. I want to be just like you. Well, thanks. And these are Boomer and Handy. Hi. Hi. Chuck tells me all you guys like racing. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Looking good, boys. Chuck, nice turn there. Biggs, try to keep all your wheels on the ground. Biggs, way to put on the speed. <laughs> good one, Boomer. But they won't let you do that in a real race. It's a tie, boys. That means we gotta race again. I'm afraid I can't be the judge this time, guys. I gotta get back to the diner and rest up for tomorrow's race. I'll be there. Front row. We all will. And I can't wait to see you race, Rally. All right, guys. Bumpers up. Race for the long haul! <laughs> <laughs> see you later. I think Rally's even cooler than you always said he was. I think he's cooler than I always said he was. I think it's time to race on! Did you get enough sleep? Is your motor all right? Are your spark plugs sparking? <laughs> Relax, little brother. I just want to make sure everything's perfect for your race today. Do you think the rain last night messed up the track at all? I'd have put it in the moon now. Flash is right, Chuck. The track is paved. Everything's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go get my friends. Don't be late, Chuck. Flash and I have to leave right after so we can get to our next race. 
We'll be there. Time to go to the race, Chuck? Time to see Rally run? It's time, and he told me not to be late, so we better get moving. Over, round, through. Truck's going, and see you! I can't wait to see Rally do his one wheel spin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see his reverse work. I can't wait to see Rally do his no big zigzag. <laughs> and I can't wait to see Rally do his double leap deluxe. Wahoo! <laughs> 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 Looks like last night's rain left a few mud puddles. <laughs> I guess so. Lucky thing a little mud never stopped a racing truck, right? I think that's more than a little mud, Biggs. I think you're right. I can't get any traction in this slop. I'm stuck. Come on, Biggs, hurry. The race is going to start any minute. I'm trying. I want to see that race as bad as you, Chuck. Okay, don't get your axle in a knot. We'll help you. Come on, Boomer, Candy, let's push. Okay, Biggs, give it another spin. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Chuck, you got any more ideas? I just might. All right, Biggs. If we can't push, I'll pull you out, and the guys will push me. Ready? I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Big, if we had more time, I'm sure I could come up with a good plan to get you out. And I know it'll be a snap to get you out of that mud after the race, but it's gonna start any minute and... Hey, don't worry, partner. You go watch the race, then come back here and tell me all about how Rally did. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. We'll stay here, Chuck. Yeah, and keep Big's company. Okay, great. You guys are the best. Thanks so much. I'll come back right after the race. Gonna see Rally race, finally. Thank goodness it wasn't me that got stuck in the mud. Poor Biggs, he really wanted to see this race. Actually, seeing the race won't be nearly as much fun without him there to watch it with me. Chuck, what are you doing back here? The race must be starting. I know, but I figured if we can take a little time now to get you out of there the right way, we can all make it to the track together and see most of the race. Chuck, you're the best pal a varmint like me could have. Hey, you're not out of there yet. Let's see. The problem is, is that your wheels have nothing to grab onto. So what you need is a track. Anything I've got, we can use. Can my hose help, Chuck? No, but I know how both of you can help build something to get Biggs out. Hand, can you feel under the mud for Biggs' tires? Sure. Oh, oh, hey, that tickles. Found him, Chuck. Great. Okay, Boomer, slide your ladders under the tires. I feel them. The ladder should work like tracks for you, Biggs. Give him a try. You guys did it. Thanks. Wow! Now let's get to the track. We'll meet you two there. You're the fast ones. We'll save you seats. Chuck, I mean it, partner. Thanks. Hey, I know you would have done the same for me, pal, knowing how much we both want to see Rally race. The race must have started. Let's take a shortcut. Chuck, are you sure this is a shortcut? Sure. Uh, maybe. Look, there's a light up ahead. Chuck, 
glad you made it. But I didn't expect to see you down here with us. My shortcut really did get us to the racetrack. Yes! Come on and join us! Race with you? Really? Was that? I think it was. Wow! Race right along with Ralph! I've dreamed about this, but I thought it would never happen. Me either! And it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't come back to help me, Chuck. Thanks again. No problem, Big. Turned out hoping you were the great for both of us. Time to come in for bed. Sorry, guys. I have to go in. We can't stop. I'm barely filthy. And I want to win at least one game of Super Duper Double Dare. You've beaten us five times, Chuck. What's your secret, amigo? I'm fearless, Digger. I'll take on any dare you give me. Then I dare you to ignore your dad and keep playing. Chuck! <laughs> um... Any dare except that one, Rowdy. See you tomorrow. Dad, guess how many times I won at Super Duper Double Dare? From the look of you, I'd say too many times. Your windshield is grimy, your fender is scratched, and look, your tire is almost flat. So you'll just pump some air into it, and I'll be as good as new, right? I would if my air pump wasn't broken, honey. You know what this means? Tomorrow, we're going to take you for your first visit to Doc Bolt. He's another mechanic in town. Really? Wow! Really? And while we're there, we'll have Doc Bolt give you a full checkup, just like the ones grown-up trucks get. Yippee! Hey, wait. I've never been repaired by anybody but you. You sound a little nervous, son. I heard you telling your pals you were fearless. Uh, well, I am. Okay, now. Off to bed. Big day tomorrow. I dare you to get a good night's sleep. I super-duper double dare you. <laughs> trip without seeing you first. Could be you've blown a gasket. Now roll over to that lift and let's have a look at you. I wonder what's going on. I warned you not to put off your repairs, Smutchy. I know, Holly. I just hate seeing the mechanic. They get you in there and the next thing you know they want to completely rebuild you. Oh, I'm hurting just thinking about it. They want to re-gear your transmission, replace your brakes, overhaul your chassis. Heck, if you're not careful, they might completely remove your engine. Oh, Smutchy, you just need a little tuning up and you'll be fine. Honestly, my son Chuck is braver than you. He's going to the mechanic tomorrow for the first time and he's absolutely fearless about it. Welcome to the mechanic's office, Chuck. Just relax. This shouldn't take too long. And when we're done, you'll feel like a whole new truck. Like a whole new truck. Ah! <gasps> Hola, Rowdy. Hola, Biggs. Hey there, Digger. Are you guys ready for a good game of hide-and-seek? See, of course. But I can never tell which part I like more, the hiding or the seeking. Hide and seek? Wahoo! I love hide and seek. Let's make it even more fun and play hide, seek, and trash into piles of tires. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Chuck? He's usually the first one here. Psst. Huh? huh? Psst. Chuck? Uh, 
Um, Chuck, you're playing hide and seek. I reckon you're not supposed to tell us where you're hiding. I'm hiding, all right, from my mom. Really? Is she playing too? <laughs> <laughs> no, she wants to take me to see the mechanic to get my tire fixed, and I don't want to go. Why? Your tire does look pretty low. You're not afraid, are you? Chuck, afraid? Nah, my buddy's fearless. I went to the mechanic once, and I felt a lot better afterwards. It's not the afterwards. It's what might happen to me while I'm there. He might want to replace everything. Hey! Chuck, where are you? Chuck, help me hide from her. Wow, I didn't seek for real. And I know what we can build to help Chuck stay out of sight. Coming. Hi, boys. Hi, Hi Chuck's mom. mom. Have you seen Chuck? He needs to go to the mechanic for his tire. Um, uh, what was that? Um, <laughs> oh, it was my uh, transmission. I, I think it needs some fluid. Well, Rowdy, come by later and I'll take a look. If you see Chuck, tell him I'm looking for him. Yes, ma'am. Good luck, ma'am. All clear, amigo. No, Digger, don't! Chuck, it looks like all your tires are running low on air. I'm fine, but how am I gonna hide now? We could build another pile. No way, not that again. Hey, I know how to throw your mom off the trail. Alley-oop! Those look nice and stinky. Excuse me. <sighs> There's nothing like a good roll in the smelly stuff. Ugh. What'd you do that for? Yeah. I can barely stand to be near you. You smell. Exactly. Chuck? <laughs> Chuck, where are you? Are you boys sure you haven't seen... <gasps> Whoa! Okay, Ooh. I'm ready to have my transmission oh, checked. My. Oh, and I have this little dent in my fender. Smell. I think what I really need uh. is a big, big look. I'll check you out later, Rowdy. I better keep looking for Chuck. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, oh no, no, wait! Sorry, amigo. It was a great plan, but we couldn't take it any longer. My tires are fine. <sighs> I just wish I could, poof, become another truck. Then my mother wouldn't even recognize me. Hey, that's what you need, a disguise. I can't wait to make your disguise, partner. I've got all kinds of plans. like I belong in the circus. I reckon that's the kind of circus I'd want to go see. I can barely move. Maybe that's because your tires are running so low on air, amigo. No, it's because of this costume. Get this silly stuff off of me. Chuck, where are you, Chuck? You know, the more I think about it, the more I think you boys are trying to hide something from me. Say, who's that? Oh, um, well, this is my cousin, ma'am. He's visiting from... from Iceland. Yeah, that's it. Where it's... icy. Oh, really? Iceland. Well, just how cold is it in Iceland at this time of year? Uh... Lickin', sprokin', zippin', ze wheelin', mit their freezin'. Ar... Sorry. <laughs> he only speaks... ice language. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chuck, come back here. Hey, what's wrong with me? I can't move. Now the pressure in all your tires has gotten too low. Chuck, why have you been hiding? I... I guess maybe I was a little afraid to go to the mechanic. Oh, honey, it'll be fine. Come on. Let's go see Dr. Bolt. Good luck, Chuck! 
All done. Huh? Red Hot Turbo Chargers. That didn't hurt. Well, Chuck, visits to me are hardly ever as bad as patients expect. And most of us know how to keep things from being too painful. Feel better, honey? Totally. Thanks, Doc Bolt. What if Chuck comes back? And we don't recognize him. Well, I don't want my buddy to be different. How about just like I was? Only then. <gasps> Chuck, you don't seem different at all. I'm the same old me. But I feel great. Worrying about seeing the mechanic was much worse than actually seeing him. Boy, from now on, I'm not going to worry about stuff until I need to. Bumpers up, you guys. Friends for the long haul! So, does that mean you're ready to play? You bet. What should we play? Well, here, I've got some great ideas for disguises for everyone. <laughs> when they all fall. <laughs> well, need some help, kid? Chuck, you remember Mixer Mike, don't you? He's passing through on the way to a construction site. Hello. Building a fort, huh? You need to overlap the blocks, not just stack them one upon the other. Then they won't fall. See? Yeah. Because they're all tucked into each other. Red Hot Turbo Chargers. So that's how you do it. Wow. How do you know so much about building things? Well, I help build things every day. Boy, you should see some of the stuff I've built. Winding roads, gigantic bridges, and buildings. Great big buildings. Whoa. That's the final mile of the longest road in the world. Much sturdier play for it. Red Hot Turbo Chargers, look at this! This is so cool! Thanks, Mixer Mike. My pleasure, Chuck. Well, Holly, I better skedaddle. I got some work to squeeze in before that big storm hits tonight. I'll see you on your way. Whoa! I can't wait to tell Boomer and the gang about this. I wonder what else we could build. Whoa! Chuck! Your fort is in a very busy area. <laughs> well, it seems a shame to take it down. It's actually a pretty good fort. Watch me roll this road flat like a steamroller. Digger, you're just snoring. What kind of construction sound is that? See, because I'm a dozer, get it? A bulldozer? Because I'm sleeping? <sighs> no? Come on. What are we building, Chuck? I don't know. Uh, how about an amusement park with a roller coaster and a merry-go-round? And, and, and a slide. An awesome slide. Hey, Chuck, look what we made. Digger scooped up some dirt, and I wet it with my hose to make mud. Mud is easier to shape into stuff. That's great. 
It's like a mini version of the board I just built by the diner. Too bad it's so small. I want to really play in it. Yeah, I wish we could build something big. Maybe even something with an awesome slide. Red Hot Turbo Chargers, I've got an idea. We can build something big. I don't know, Chuck. Real construction trucks have cement and bricks and real building parts to make things out of. Well, we've got tons of spare parts in the parts yard and all the mud we can make. I'm sure together we can build a big play fort. With doors and windows and a slide. Don't forget the slide. Not just any play fort, but the best play fort in the world. Good night, Chuck. Yahoo! Chuck, wait, you haven't even had breakfast yet. Can't waste time with breakfast, Mom. I have this great idea to build a helicopter pad at the top of the fort. You know, just in case one needs to land there. Helicopter pad? Hey, Chuck. Can't wait to play in Fort Chuck. Huh? It, it was the best fort ever. We had such great plans. We can rebuild it, right, Chuck? Chuck, what should we do? What's the point? It'll only fall apart again the next time it rains. We could build a better one. No, it was so perfect the way it was. How could we ever build a fort so great again? Chuck? Home. At least my crate fort can't get destroyed by rain. We'll play there tomorrow. See you guys. Huh? My crate fort? That's gone too? Oh, Chuck. I'm sorry, but I had to take apart your crate fort. It was in the way of the customers. Oh. <sighs> it sure is hard to have fun when things keep changing all the time. Now, hold on just a second, Chuck. Yes, yeah, sometimes things change, but maybe it's not as bad a change as you think. Follow me, son. You see, sometimes when things change, you can find a bright side. Bright side? Huh. Well, Fort Chuck was ruined in the rain last night, Dad. What's the bright side of that? I don't know yet, but... I have a feeling you'll find a bright side to it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait a second. Dad, I just got an awesome idea. But we've got to take down the crate fort. Take down the crate fort? But Chuck... I need the crates, Dad, for the bright side. Remember when I tried to go into Fort Chuck using Soku's entrance? <laughs> yeah, you were too big, so you got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we'll ever have that much fun again. Oh. Geronimo! Hey! Wow, that looks fun. I feel a lot better, guys. How come? Aren't you still upset that Fort Chuck is gone? Well, sure. We had a terrific fort, and maybe someday we can build another one. But sometimes, when things change, you can find a bright side. I'll show you what I mean. I've got four more crates at the top of the hill we can use for sledding. I hereby name this new hill Mount Chuck. <laughs> it's the best mud hill in the world. And a pretty good slide, too. Yippee! but it also takes a lot of hard work, a lot of hard teamwork. Speaking of hard work, I better get back to my customers. And I should get back to the repair center. Okay, lunchtime's over. Who's ready to play police cars and getaway cars? We could play police cars and getaway cars, or we could make a movie about them. Yeehaw! Great idea! We've already got the actors. And we've got the camera. And one star who looks good. And we've got the director. What's a director? The director's the one in charge of a movie. Since making this movie was your idea, that sounds fair. OK, bumpers up. Friends for the long haul! So in this scene, Biggs and Soku, you're the getaway cars. Soku, you say, got away. We got away. When the camera's on. I knew that. Just uh, practicing. And then Biggs, you say, looks like we're safe. And then Officer Chuck comes zooming around the corner. Then what? I chase after you guys. And Handy records it all. OK, everyone, get to where you're supposed to be to start the scene. Handy, when the camera's ready, you clack your hand and say, take one. Take one what? No, take one is movie talk that helps the director remember that this was the first time we tried recording the scene. If we have to do it again, that'll be take two. See? Oh! Good thing you're the director, Chuck. I know. The humongous chase. Take one. And action! We got away. It looks like we made it! Cut! Cut what? Cut means that the director wants the camera to stop recording. Biggs, you're supposed to say, looks like we're safe. Didn't I say that? You were close, but I really want it perfect. Can we try it again? <laughs> looks like we're safe. Looks like we're safe. Looks like we're safe. The humongous chase. Take two. Action! We got away. We 
got away. <laughs> it looks like we're okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks like we're safe. Not so fast. You're coming with me. You have to catch us first. You'll never catch us, police car. Don't be too sure. Get away, car. But wrong! No, it wasn't. You were supposed to make us crash so you could catch us. Yeah, but you were supposed to crash into those tires, not the cones. Looks like we're gonna have to do this again. But Chuck, the police car still caught us. That's good. It was. And hopefully this time we'll get it perfect. Let's do it again, people! I don't know why we have to do it again. Well... Chuck, he is the director, and that's the fella in charge, so I guess we gotta do what he says. The Humongous Chase, take three. <laughs> Looks like we're safe. <laughs> Looks like jail for you two. And cut! Yes, perfect! About time. Handy, let's see what we recorded. Action! We made it. Looks like we're safe. What happened? Uh-oh. I think you forgot to take off the lens cap. With that on, the camera couldn't record any pictures. Can't we get anything right? Hey, it was an accident, partner. The fella doesn't do something like that on purpose. <sighs> Let's go again. Places. No way. I wanted to have fun and make a movie, not get yelled at. Yeah, you've been bossing us around all day. And you blame us for everything. Well then, I'll just make the movie all by myself. The Humongous Chase, take 10. Clack. Action. You'll never catch us, police car. Don't be too sure, get away cars. Er, get away car. Doing it alone is the only way to go. Then you can be the star of your very own show. Making a movie without anyone else, so much better. Making a movie takes teamwork. 
And who wants to team up with someone like that? I've got to make it up to them. But how? Oh, look, it's Big Time Movie Guy. Come to yell at us again? I came to show you the movie I made on my own after you left. Did you find trucks to do it exactly the way you want? N not exactly. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chuck, and I made this movie to show you what happens when a director isn't very nice to the people he works with. You get a movie no one wants to work on, or see, but when you work together, it's like a tuned up, smooth humming engine. So what do you say, guys? I'm really sorry how I treated all of you. Want to work together? Chuck, I think I speak for all of us when I say, bumpers up. Brace for the long haul. but a lot more making movies for us. Yippee! Yay! <laughs> now that's how you do a picture show. Great work, Chuck. Yeah, you made a really great movie. No, guys, we made a really great movie. <laughs> <laughs> He sure was. Good hot turbocharger. <laughs> and he put up the half pipe at the proving track? He sure did. I bet you've seen Uncle Verdi do some amazing truck tricks on the half pipe, huh? My brother has pulled off some pretty great stunts. Flips, twists, nose grinds, tail slides, he's done it all. The best trucks know how to get big air. That means get up really high, and the trick to doing that is to get a whole lot of speed. On your marks, get set, go! We just found out. Is it true? The half pipe's here? It sure is. Wait! Let's go check it out. Bye, yeah. Mom. <laughs> Hang on a second, Chuck. Did you forget? You promised to build me that new tool shed today. Oh, right. But I didn't know that the half pipe would be here. Can I do it tomorrow? I really need that tool shed today, honey. Please, Mom. You know I love building things. But right now, I'm so excited to try out that half pipe. I'm sorry, Chuck. Come on. I'll show you where I need you to build it. Here we are. The shed kit should have everything you need, and the instruction sheet is right here. Good luck, Chuck. I'll be working on a tough engine repair in the shop, but I'll check on you in a bit. Hmm. Oh no, it looks like a really big job. That'll take a long time. Aw, oh, suffering squeaky brakes. And I was so excited to try out that half pipe. <sighs> Come on, y'all. It can't be that hard. And we'll stay here to help you, partner. Yeah, Chuck. Then we can all go to the half pipe together. Yippee! Yeah! 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 Uh, yeah. These are complicated. Too complicated to be fast. There must be an easier way to build a shed. Hmm. Maybe we can find a shortcut. A shortcut? You mean a shorter way to get to the half pipe? No, Handy. What I mean is faster way to build the shed than it says in the instructions. Are you sure? Because the instructions say the first step is... We don't need the instructions. They're too complicated. We can put the shed together much faster without them. What could go wrong? 
Okay, Digger, grab that thingy. Then Handy, take this, uh, Dewey. And Biggs, take this whatchamacallit. Boomer, here's this thingamabob. See? We didn't need instructions. Half pipe time! Aww. Hmm, I think I see the problem, Chuck. The shed needs something called a foundation. It's a big hole that keeps it in place. <sighs> a hole? We have to dig a hole first? No problema, Chuck. Digging holes is my specialty. No, wait. I have a better idea. A better way to dig than me? I'll bet we can do it faster if we use Biggs' giant tires to dig the hole. Turbo style. Well, that sounds like a hoot and holler. Um, but how? Just rev your engine real fast. But stay in place so that your wheels spin against the ground. I think it's working! Yes! Perfect! Okay, now let's grab the materials and get to work. Uh-oh. Biggs is digging buried all the shed stuff under the dirt. It's going to take us forever to dig those back out. Maybe this time we let the hombre with the shovel do the work? Look, guys, we've wasted way too much time trying to dig a hole. The shed is like a puzzle. We just have to figure out where each piece goes. Okay, start solving. Uh, Chuck, maybe we should look at the instructions to see where the pieces go. Can't stop to look at those now. We'll waste too much time. Come on, don't you want to check out that half pipe? supposed to get in? Oh, um, well, it's like a drawbridge. Yeah, think of it like your own little castle, Mom. <sighs> My own castle, huh? Chuck, there's not even a back wall on this. Oops, we must have forgot. Sorry, Mom. So, can we go to the half pipe now? Chuck, you need to fix this. But we already fixed it. The shed has to be built properly, or I can't use it to store my tools. Now, excuse me, I've got to get back to work. But, Mom! Please, Mom! We spent so much time already! Can I just finish it tomorrow? Hang on a second, Chuck. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Wow! You've been working on that engine all day long, and you're still not done? Not yet. I don't want to rush, or I may make a mistake. Now let's see, how do I install this part? Are you reading instructions? I thought you already knew how to fix stuff. <laughs> I always check to make sure I'm following directions properly. Sometimes I double check or even triple check. But I think we may be just about done. Okay, let's see if it worked. Did it, Mom? It wasn't fast and it wasn't easy, but it was done right. You see, Chuck, the way to do a job well is to take your time, make sure you have good instructions and the right tools. I have instructions, I just have to follow them. And I definitely have the right tools. My friends! So you're starting all over? Well, I thought you wanted to find a shortcut so you could get to the app butt. It'll still be there when I'm done. In the meantime, I've looked at these instructions. It may take a while, but I have the perfect tools to help me. You've got tools? I thought I had all the tools. <laughs> I'm talking about you guys. If we use all our strengths and follow these instructions, 
We can build it faster than if I did it on my own. What do you say? Yeah! Let's do it! Come on! Okay! job. Thanks, Mom. But I didn't do it by myself. My friends worked with me to make the shed perfect. They were the right tools for the job. Well, at first, we tried to do it fast. Yeah, we thought we could find a shortcut. Because we really wanted to go to the half pipe. But, Mom, you made me realize that the fastest way to do something is to do it right the first time. Well, you sure got it right this time. What do you say I take you over to the half pipe and show you a few radical tricks my brother taught me? Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> totally! Yeehaw! Okay, Chuck. Now that you picked up enough speed, try to lift off at the lip and swivel around. Here we go! Yeah! Red Hot Turbo Turn! I did it! Nice job, Chuck. Okay, who wants to learn how to ride Goofy style? <laughs> I do! I do! Come on! Wait, wait, not me! Why not, Digger? I'm goofy enough as it is! <laughs> <laughs> You're funny! <laughs> is to have a bunch of tiny clown trucks pile inside me. <laughs> and then they come out to the excitement of audiences everywhere. <laughs> cool. And then we all do funny, wacky stunts. It's amazing to see. shock absorber street until you get to the giant tire. Then turn right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Boomer, Biggs, Digger, guess what game we're going to play? In our circus, we leap through the hoop, do a couple of spins, then zoom over the ramp. How does that sound? Uh, I'm not sure. Aw, uh, you're always so nervous. Come on, it'll be great. Give it a try. <laughs> Woohoo! Polish my bumpers and call me shiny. That was fun. I want to do that 50 more times. No, 53. Okay, but after I have my turn. <laughs> That does look fun. Out of my way, everybody. <laughs> that was great, Boomer. Total wipeout. Okay, try again. I think I'll just 
watch. Hey, I'll do the circus music while you keep going. Good idea. That was awesome! What other circus stuff can we do next? Oh, I know! The trapeze! Trapeze? Where you swing around way up in the air? Hmm. We don't have the right equipment. And it's really dangerous if we don't have any safety gear. Uh-huh. I think Chuck's right. You know what could be a good idea? I can be a wild truck tamer, and you can all be the trucks. See, si, see, si, and we'll need little stands for us wild trucks. and truckettes, see how I tame the wild trucks. What makes you crazy animal? Back! Now, stand on your front loader, vicious creature. Come on, Boomer, we need a third wild truck. Uh... twisted a wheel on that ramp. Aw, oh, sorry, Boomer. That's too bad. You better sit out then. Back, you beasts! Back! <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Have jugglers. Yeah! yeah! Ready, Digger? Ready! I don't need a marker to juggle. Whee! Boomer, don't you want to juggle? still giving me trouble. You can't have hurt your wheel that bad. Is something else wrong? No, nothing. Okay. What's another thing at the circus we could do, partners? It has to be something really big, like driving on tight ropes. <gasps> yeah! Can we do that? Why not? We just need to stretch two ropes out over something soft, in case we fall, of course. And we won't make it too high up. I found something soft. If we fall, we'll just land in the puddle. <laughs> all that goopy, messy, smelly stuff is also a good reason to try and stay on the tightrope. Boomer, you haven't joined in yet. Want to go first? Um, no, that's OK. Uh, let me get the ropes for you guys. What's with Boomer? His wheel looked fine right there. Yeah, he hasn't done one circus thing with us yet, except try jumping through that old hoop. We 
Friend, what can I get for you today? Gotta do some serious fueling up, man. I've got a long day ahead of me drilling into the old ground. Excuse me, sir. Uh, what kind of truck are you? My name is Deep, and I'm a drilling rig. I dig holes way down into the earth. But why? What's down there? Oh, lots of stuff, little man. Some places have salt, and some places have water, and in some spots, it's a mystery. My job is to look for those mysteries. That must be the best job in the whole world. Oh, it is. I work with science trucks, and together we discover the most amazing things. Wow. Chuck to surface. I found something big here, Deep. What is it, Chuck? What is our most famous driller found? It's a mystery. A mystery so mysterious that the world might not be ready for it. Wow, what would the world do without you, Chuck? I don't know, but I sure wouldn't want to find out. What do you think is below us right here, Deep? Ah, now that's a mystery. Well, at least until you find it. Then, it's science. Let me get something to dig with. I'm gonna find some mysteries. Oh, little man. Hold on there, Chuck. <gasps> See if you can find a place to dig that's not right in the middle of the diner. Oh, yeah. Good idea, Dad. Besides, the best mysteries are found in wide open places. I know the perfect place to look. Dad, can I? Go ahead, son. I'm almost done here anyway. Thanks, Dad. See you, Mr. Deep. Thanks. This trick took some practice, but I finally got it. Hey, do you want to work on your new stunt? That's a great idea. But believe it or not, I have an even better idea. I just met a guy named Deep while helping my dad, and he told me about the mysteries. Mysteries? What mysteries? Under the earth, Handy. There are a gazillion mysteries down there just waiting to be discovered. That's really neat. Yeah, Boomer, that's what I thought. Do you guys want to discover those mysteries with me? Because if we don't, no one will. No one? No one. <sighs> that means we have a very important job. A very, very important job. Well then, let's go mystery hunting. To the parts yard. Bumpers up. Friends for the long haul. What are we 
are we looking for anyway? We're looking for the absolutely, positively best spot to dig. Oh, uh, they all look the same to me. You're right. Maybe we need to take a closer look. Time to magnify. I took a closer look. This dirt patch and that dirt patch and those dirt patches over there are all exactly the same. I'm sure I have a metal detector in here somewhere. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Aha! Whoa. Are those x-ray glasses from... The back pages of The Adventures of Super Semi. They're supposed to let you see through anything. Awesome! Cool! Dude! These will help us find the perfect spot to dig. What do you see? Yeah, what do you see, amigo? You must see something. Something mysterious? Uh, I see... Hey, right here! Friends, it's mystery time! Let's dig! <laughs> This is a great hole. See, si, amigo, but what about the mysteries? All I see is dirt. Do you see anything handy? Not yet. Over here. I found something. Something shiny. Oh. <laughs> Chrome-plated extra-reflective hubcap. Now that's a treasure. A treasure? Yes. But a mystery? No. Chuck? How will we know when it is a mystery? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure we'll know it when we see it. Let's keep searching. Hey, a uh, spring. An awesome spring, but still not a mystery. Let's keep looking. Tired. I'm thirsty. Well, we found this flag, bucket, tires, and a raft, but still no mysteries. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck after a break. Who wants to hit the diner? Good idea. See, si, amigo. Let's go. You said it. Uh, you know, we're stuck. Yep, we're stuck all right. No problem. We'll just find another way out. I hate to say it, but I don't see another way. There's always another way. Let's think. a lot of neat stuff in this hole, but we didn't find a ramp. We're not going to build a ramp out of things. We'll build it out of trucks. Uh, you mean us? Exactly. We'll just climb on top of each other until someone is high enough to get out. Well, how will it help if only one truck gets out? Because that truck will zip around the parts yard and collect materials to make a ramp. Once we have the materials, we can build a ramp and drive right out. Sounds complicated. Nah, it'll be easy. I think Digger is the best guy to do the running around on top. What do you say? See, si, let's get me out of here. <laughs> hey, amigos, unless we dug up a pair of wings down there, we're going to have to try something else. OK, Digger, get up here. This is going to work. Uh, guys? How did you get down there? Okay, let's try again. You can do it, Digger. Or we could just make a dirt ramp. Back to digging. And pushing. And lifting. Now this is a ramp. 
We'll be able to drive up for breaks and back down for mystery hunting. And maybe up again for a good washing and some chrome polishing. Before we drive up, I want to smooth this part right here. Someone could pop a tire. Come over here, guys. Look at this. I think it's water. Water? It's true. Deep told me that sometimes drilling rigs try to find water underground. <laughs> Why would there be water underground? It's called groundwater. My mom told me that there's more water in the ground than in the lakes and rivers. Let's drill deeper. Our ramp! It's gonna ruin our ramp! That's okay. We all learned how to swim last summer. Let's get on that raft and ride this to the top. All that work and we didn't discover a single mystery. Just some boring water. Well, water may not be the most mysterious mystery, but we did discover a mystery, a mud bog. Is there anything more fun than a mud bog? Wahoo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs>